What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. If you've used Twitter for a period of time, you're probably familiar with gimmick accounts. As per the name, they usually adhere to one subject, although they can come in many shapes and sizes, cringe compilations, memes, and that sort of stuff. Near as I can tell, they used to have been received very positively as novel concepts by the Twitter community. They were good for a quick laugh as you scrolled through the site, browsing the timeline. Now though, public opinion is mixed on them for various reasons. For one, they've essentially become a business, with many gimmick accounts being bought and sold, many ran by the same person, and promoting products in return for cash. Suffice to say, many of these accounts are considered nuisances. Another, more prevalent reason people have turned against these gimmick accounts is their tendency to break character, often to vent or talk politics. This can prove to be annoying indeed, because let's face it, you're not following these accounts to listen to a moan about life or grandstand about politics, you just want a quick laugh every now and then. And that sort of thing is what leads me to today's topic, an account called Out of Touch Thursdays, which posts the meme of the Lucky Star intro synced to Out of Touch. You've probably seen it around the internet here and there. Now, this seems like a pretty easy account to run. I mean, all you do is post a video once every week. Hell, so easy, you could probably get a bot to do it. But it seems that running such an account can lead you into more hot water than you'd think. Essentially, this whole thing starts with voice actor Karen Strassman, quote, retweeting the account. Thanks for all the hashtag Lucky Star our love, hashtag Miyuki. To which the account retweets, we send you no love, anti-vax dip, F off. They go on, get the jab if you can, keep yourself safe, see you all next Thursday. That tweet might seem a little uncalled for, and to be honest, that's pretty much cause it is, but we'll get around to that. Three days later, they make another thread, hello, we seem to have caused quite a stir by telling a bigoted conspiracy theorist to F off. Here are some cliff notes for the future. You don't have to follow. We do a fun thing every Thursday to make people happy. But like in the past, we post progressive views as well. And that makes me think like, why? Why do you have to post progressive views? I mean, far be it from me to police how someone runs their Twitter account, but all this account really has to do is post a meme every week. That's all you gotta do. No one's asking or even wanting you to do anything more. I don't know. We who run this account believe in leftist ideals. We will use our Twitter account as we see fit to fight injustices or raise awareness to where we can. Block us or we'll block you. We don't care. Be well everyone, same lucky time, same lucky channel, on Thursday. Now, there's a few things I want to unpack here. First of all, I want to know why they say we. Is there more than one person behind the account? If so, why? All it is is posting the same video once a week. Not exactly the stuff you need more than one person for. And, you know, secondly, it's okay to have political beliefs, but it is weird to intertwine them with a gimmick account that has nothing to do with. It's also odd they feel the need to take themselves so seriously. I mean, all you do is post a video once a week. No need to get up on a how horse about it. The tweet appears to have been taken negatively by the Twitter crowd, with many expressing annoyance. Gimmick account, don't post about politics challenge. Impossible. Leftist ideals. You're not a revolutionary fighting capitalist imperialism, you're a Twitter user. Dude really thinks he's fighting fascism by posting an anime clip every Thursday, LMAO. Fight injustices or raise awareness. You're a gimmick account, you have one job and the above mentioned ones ain't it. You need to go outside or find a hobby if you legitimately think a gimmick account can influence the political sphere in any way. There's more where that came from, but all you really need to know is that the sentiment is generally negative. Far be it from me to be the judge of what gimmick accounts can and can't do, but seems to me that no one likes it when these meme accounts go off on political tangents. So I mean honestly, why do they do it? You ask me, I think they just let the numbers get to their head, they see the followers and lies rolling in, they lose focus on why people are coming on in. They ain't there for the politics, they're there for a quick laugh. Now, regarding the initial tweet, Karen Strassman is a voice actor with investments in a few different types of media, notably anime. It took me a while to find out the source of all the outrage, but I managed to find an article regarding the matter. There's gonna be a lot of screenshots which we won't read, but you're free to pause the video to see for yourself. Essentially, a year back, Karen liked some tweets from Donald Trump regarding the 2020 election and even suggested disdain for Antifa. Not only that, but there are some locked tweets regarding the vaccine as well. First off, I just wanna say, I find the tweet made by the person who uploaded the screenshots disgusting. Why do English dubbing studios continue to hire an anti-vax reactionary fascist Trump supporter? Like, voice actors have had to record from home for ages because of this pandemic, and that didn't ring any clues? as well as calling her views far right. This tweet was made in a clear attempt to slander and cancel Strassman based on political views which just ain't right. Secondly, my opinion, I think scouring someone's locked tweets to get mad at them 
it's just dumb. It's just a huge reach, unless the tweets are really out there, which honestly to me, these tweets are pretty tame. A lot of people are trying to pass these tweets off as if she's part of the far right or some sort of conspiracy theorist. I just ain't seeing it. It's possible to hold opinions from two ends of the political spectrum. Politics ain't a one-way street. Fact, I've been poking around Miss Strassman's social media, and from what I've seen, she doesn't seem to get political often. Hell, it seems that she observes some progressive ideals to some extent. Seems to me her political alignments is more in the middle, if anything. I get that the whole deal with elections and vaccines is divisive, but if we're gonna let it get to the point where we harass and try to deplatform people over him, well, it just ain't right. So, overall, this situation is just another one to add to the pile of why people have turned against these sorts of gimmick accounts. Using your platform to slander public figures in the industry, well, it goes without saying, it's just disgusting. And honestly, getting political on an account like this in the first place is, well, in the most politically correct way I can put it, it's dumb. People want to laugh, not morons freaking out over politics, and that goes doubly in these troubling times. Well, this ain't the first time something like this happened, and boy, I guarantee you, it ain't gonna be the last. That's all I've got for this shtick. Now, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.